Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can tell by the elevator that is not moving an inch, uh, we are back to replay Single Glove Alpha version 0.3 this time, not 0.2. And apparently, despite incrementing the version number, the, uh, the elevator, elevator is still broken. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. But, uh, yeah, I, I broke it, apparently, by no clipping over the faceplate. Apparently, the faceplate hitbox is supposed to be unreasonably large for no reason. I've read through the comments, and apparently I'm being an idiot, and so I went and I watched my playthrough of the original map, and apparently I actually broke that too. Apparently I have never actually solved this map the intended way. Every time I've played this map, I have broken it. So, maybe, maybe today, maybe today, we might be able to actually solve it as intended. But for right now, we need to restart because this elevator is completely busted up. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> The first time I tried recording this, I'd actually loaded into the wrong map. That was kind of funny. Did we just go- I think we just went through some geometry there. That didn't look right. But, uh... I'm still tired. I'm still recording this when I'm tired, so... There is that to keep in mind. The lighting in here still seems really off. Why is there neurotoxin? What is that about? Like, everything in here just seems like a random mishmash of... Well, this actually blows this time. Interesting. But yeah, everything- everything about this just seems random and incoherent. It doesn't seem normal, is what I'm trying to say. But supposedly, supposedly this is really easy, and I've just never figured it out. Supposedly. I don't actually know. Well, that kinda... From here, it kinda looks like there's a missing texture. Right? But then when you get up here, it's fine. And it doesn't help that, that this spot right here kinda adds to the whole missing texture feel, because it like, blends in with the wall behind it. That is very trippy. Right, that changes where the green portal goes. Unfortunately, our laser cubes are not color-coded like they were in the original. Oh, that's... <laughs> that music timed right with that. It's still- this music is still doesn't fit. This is the music that plays in the menu of the game. Why is it so loud? It's never this loud on the menu of the game. I don't actually have to solve within the time limit, do I? That would be dumb. That would get an instant downvote. Wait, what? The fan is blowing on me here, huh? Why is the music keep changing? Well, anyway... So this faceplate has the unreasonably large hitbox, right? Think so? Yep, that's- that's unreasonably large. That's why I was no-clipping, was- was primarily... ...because of, uh, the unreasonably large hitbox. Cause I thought that the hitbox wasn't supposed to be that large. But apparently it is. Apparently that's just the way it's supposed to be. Something about this isn't quite right. Not... can't put my finger on it. But, uh... Something... something's not right here, and it's too dark to even explain. Do we have anything back here? Nope, we can't- can't even fit back there? Come on! Is this supposed to be... like this? See-through? Huh. Uh, well anyway... Let's try getting both cubes over here, perhaps. Yeah, set up here. Swap these cubes out. Supposedly, it'll be trivial after I do that. Not sure how, though. Are you kidding me? <sighs> nope, I'm not doing it. I am not going to play this version. You can request it again when that dumb thing right there is removed. Goodbye.